Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to use the circular menu to choose between objects. So the first thing we're going to do is copy uh, the main camera you created last time with the circular menu and paste it into this and create a new camera object and just put everything uh, beneath that. And also, um, well I think that's, oh yeah, and also uh, go to here to input settings and uh, create here a new one you do it just by changing this number to add one and uh, name it show menu and it's actually the button you're going to press if you want to uh, see the menu and um, and it it is top 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 and also um, we are uh, we are going to the script. So the first thing we're going to change is within the building system, we are going to create some new variables. So the first thing is a public game object for the um, uh, to choose the objects from uh, a menu, and from that it's the object, and also create a private pool choose object so if you're currently choosing an object also um, what I've got here is to say that you need to change this one to only uh, UE and this to depth only and this one uh, to everything else and change the depth to a lower number than you have here um, and the first thing you're going to do is delete all this and add here that it, uh, you aren't choosing an object and the same is for this uh, one here um, and here we are going to create a new uh, if loop and the if loop is that if the input dot get button so if you are pressing currently the uh, show menu you will see um, uh, you will see the uh, menu and also uh, the object uh, doesn't need to be um, sorry within here you are going to create an object menu object uh, and change it set active to true and I'm sorry about uh, just a second ago. Um, we'll add it later. And also change the cursor mock, uh, lock mode, lock state. I mean, uh, uh, cursor lock, cursor dot lock state to cursor lock mode dot uh, none. And just choose object to true. And also change this to. Uh, and the object uh, menu, if there is already uh, active, we are also going to check that. So object menu, object dot active self. And if it isn't got a button, and it is active, we are going to do. Uh, we are call actually going to call uh, a void, and it's going to call switch current building, or um, let's change its name to. Um, turn off the uh, menu and don't forget capitals um, or just think uh, of something else so um, just delete this all and set the object menu object dot set active to false and set the cursor dot lock state to cursor lock mode dot uh, locked and set the choose object to false and uh, I think that is all for this yeah and now in the circular menu we are also going to change it and the first thing is create a new var variable uh, 
building system and uh, just uh, call it like this or something else if you want to do that and delete this and the first thing we're going to do is change the current building to the current menu item and after that we will turn this off so building dot um, turn off the menu I think that's also let's assign those uh, variables so the first thing we're going to add is here to uh, the building system oh yeah uh, before I forgot it remove the building uh, the circular menu from this object and place it on this object um, and uh, assign this variable to uh, this one and assign this variable to this one so now if you uh, press tab uh, there will be a menu uh, and also there is something wrong and I know already what it is um, so just change it here um, that's the if else loop here I'm sorry uh, that you should see this but um, because uh, um, we've got here to put down but uh, because every time the button isn't uh, it doesn't get the button but uh, and the uh, object menu is active so it will turn off the menu so probably it should work right now if it isn't I got a problem and yeah I got a problem so we'll just pause this I will just fix the problem and say what it is and after that I will come back so welcome back so the thing was that uh, just copy this everything and just uh, add here this uh, sign and uh, remove it from this and then it should work um, so I'm sorry um, so now the thing we're going to do is uh, as you can see it works oh this can be a little bit laggy because I got maximum on play um, let me just do it again so okay so it uh, works right now so you can just place it if you press tab you can actually uh, choose another object and then you can just put it somewhere so everything works so the last thing we're going to do is just add uh, some text so um, well I don't think it's very special but let me just show it how to do it and uh, just some things you should uh, think of so um, the first one that's the foundation so uh, create a new text and call it uh, or here change this to uh, foundation and change this color to uh, white add an outline for black and uh, move it to this position and just uh, also make this a little bit less so something like this should do it so uh, well uh, you can just go on I will only do this one because uh, I don't think it's very hard to see and as you can see now you just have that you can also change it to an image uh, it's just what you want you can put everything there and um, well I hope you guys liked it if you did please leave a like uh, if you've got any questions, please ask below in the comment section. And uh, I'll see you guys soon.